14 minutes after 5 o'clock now as the sun comes up this morning hundreds of people are going to start the process of cleaning up uh, and assessing the damage yeah, yesterday's flooding hit the valley hard now many of our neighbors might be out of their homes for some time now but help is being offered uh, to those who are cleaning up today storm team 27 meteorologist alexis walters joins us live now in boardman alexis what are you seeing there Good morning, guys. I'm live standing outside of Save a Lot at the Boardman Plaza area where Surf Pro is now doing damage assessment, cleaning up. They've been out here since 9 p.m. last night. A stretch of businesses along this plaza have had flooding damage from yesterday. And right now I have Renee with me who is with sales with Surf Pro. Tell me a little bit about what you guys have seen since you arrived last night at 9 p.m. A lot of flooding, a lot of water um, gushing into the businesses and residential homes. What were the businesses that were hit the hardest that you guys have had to work on? Uh, Save a Lots One, uh, Planet Fitness, and there's a few churches. Now with the rain coming today, what's your guys' plans as far as, is this going to be done or something that you guys are going to have to work on over the next 24 hours? Uh, we'll definitely have to be working on it for the next 24 hours. So what's your main goal right now? to get everything stabilized and start drying down. Now I saw you guys are sucking the water out from the business there into the drains that are in the uh, in the parking lot. Is that just kind of like standard procedure of what you've got to do right now? Yes, yeah, we need to get all the water extracted out of there. And how's everybody doing since they've been up so late? <laughs> they're, they're hanging in there, they're yeah. doing good, yeah. All right, well, we're going to continue to assess damage here, let you guys know what we're seeing as far as whether or not these businesses will be open this morning. I'm looking to talk to some of the managers and owners to let you guys know what you can expect as you head out the door this morning. As far as 224 goes, not seeing any flooding through the stretch of Canfield and Boardman that I drove this morning. Those roads just wet, so keep that in mind as you're heading out this morning. For now, live in Boardman, Alexis Walters, First News This Morning.